So many of you I know are scared of releasing the golf glove and probably don't actually know how to. And I've seen a lot of questions here on the channel about it. Now I know this 15 second tip from the start of your rehearsal into striking the golf ball from Mo Norman is gonna seriously show you how you release the golf club and I know you can implement this on the course right away. Now, the way I'm gonna show you is just gonna take you 15 seconds. It's really easy to follow in five simple steps. And when you're on the golf course, you're gonna get that feeling that I've had recently where, you know what, now I feel like I'm putting so much more pressure down on the golf ball and the strike and the distance, more importantly, has gone like six or seven yards longer, which is nearly a club. So instead of me hitting like a seven iron now, I'm now hitting an eight iron. And then instead of hitting a six iron, I'm hitting a seven iron and naturally your scores will lower doing this. So what we're trying to focus on here is that release where we can finish like this. Now look at my golf glove, it's almost facing you. And it's almost like I could put the flag in the hole. And that's what Mo Norman said. We want to be in a finished position like this, where we can drop the flag in the hole, okay? We don't certainly want to be like this. Again, we can't put the flag in the hole. Equally, we also don't want to be too much like this. Again, we can't put the flag in the hole. It's really focusing on that. Now, you might be thinking, Alex, I have not seen too much of this before. Well, Ernie Els does this, Bryson DeChambeau, Jack Nicholas, top golfers of past and present, all make this move. Stage one, we're just gonna put some lines on a glove. Now, grab an old glove, don't be using a new one, right? where I'm just gonna put a little line on that knuckle there and a little line on that knuckle there. So the first two, do it when your sort of fist is clenched. Now, these are just gonna act as a marker. So you know if you're doing it right, you know if you're implementing the drill right, I don't want you guessing. Stage one, just get your glove ready. I'm gonna show you this from a few different angles, but this is now stage two. Stage two, and it fits really nicely, I want you just to put your club in your left hand. Just to let you know, it's important that we've got that finger grip, okay? We're not, it's not a great video, but just make sure it's in your fingers. What we're looking for is this. Imagine we've swung up, we've come down. At this last parallel position, I want you to be able to see the two dots on your glove, okay? So if you look at this on player cam, I can see two dots on my glove. Really important, okay? Now into the next stage, stage number three, impact, I want you to be able to see one line on my glove, okay, or one dot, whatever you sort of decide to draw on there. So you can see, for me to do that, I've gone from there to there, okay? Stage three, done and dusted. Let's now move on to stage four. I mean, you might be thinking, Alex, blooming out, you're going through this quickly. Well, I told you it just takes 15 seconds. And then on the way through, I want you to see no dots and your logo of your glove almost feel like it's pointing to the sky or pointing to sort of to target here. Now, when I'm actually practicing it, that's what I feel. In reality, when I'm hitting shots, I'm sort of somewhere like a bit flatter. I'm not sort of all the way over, okay? This is quite an aggressive way in order to implement it into your stroke. So if we bring in stage two to four together here, what we're looking for is just this. If I do that towards you, Show you a few different angles. Okay, I'm allowing myself to get forward shaft lean, pressure on the golf ball, and release. Now, everyone says to me the first time they do this, it feels really aggressive. Well, it does, because if we look at 90% of golfers, we tend to leave the face open. We tend to chicken wing and lift this. We're getting the opposite to happen, where we're releasing that club through this space. And that is what we're after. Now, I mentioned three key names at the start. Well, four, actually, if we include Mo Norman, who was an absolute genius, by the way. But three key names. Ernie Els, Bryson DeChambeau, and Jack Nicklaus. Have a look at all these pictures in this finishing position and know where their glove is pointing, okay? It's pointing out this way. It's pointing almost towards the camber, isn't it? It's always working under and round here. Well, that's how we release the pressure on the club. It's that action. And this is what we're trying to get. So, stage number five, just before we hit a few away, I want you to make a few practice swings, all now, one-handed, bringing it all together, really focusing on those positions 
we work to. Now, at some stage, you might go, Alex, I don't really get that. We'll go back to two, three, and four. Bring it all together. Then when you're feeling comfortable, obviously I can only hit in one direction here, but we're gonna stand here and really get the idea of going two, one, none. Two, one, none. And look at this strike, look a little effort. I'm gonna hit it soft to begin with, just to give me a chance of getting it right, because I'm still working on it in my game. I'm gonna to turn to you. Look where I've just finished. Now have a look at this here, very little effort. 159 carry, 169 total, 115 ball speed, and that is with a seven iron. So you've got to use the idea of the release to get rid of the chicken wing, to get rid of that scoopiness, and to really feel as though you're putting pressure on that golf ball. This is what I'm gonna leave you with here. Have a look at this impact position right now. This is where you're gonna get, look at my wrist, and look at my follow through. That's where we wanna to get to, because then we can practice hitting little half shots going, right, okay, can I put the flag back in the hole? So just hit some shots away from me where you just go, softly, flag back in the hole. As easy as that to really integrate this into your swing.